Oh no! We deleted the wrong thing. Whoops. Capture out of existing. Boom! There we go. Uh, and now we can leave that up. Shrink it into the corner here. We got a big game coming up. Throw that, throw that, throw that. Here we go. Your grand finals. Looking for your big winners. Borker's already got his flag on. He loves having that thing out. Russia, oh, out, oh, man. I go over that. I think this is white over there, and this is blue. Man, what a composition! What a group of players! Or go to the corner. Perfect. Take a look at these bands, man. I'm goofing off with my puppets too much. We got BK, and we've got Torv and Nara. Con. Boy, it would be hard to deny Ovum and Madara. But again, Enfelope is a great DPS. This is not blue. This is red. So, like, keep selecting two of them. Like that? Is this what we're doing? Swapping the names? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> it might be. This is not blue, this is red. Got it. Wait, blue is... Oh, that, that was right? What the heck? This is, this is how it was. It was right the first time. Bunch of goobers. There we go. Do you mean the colors? <sighs> All right, finishing out that draft. I didn't even get to talk about the draft. Thinking about my freaking, my freaking numbers here. My numbers, dude. My numbers. Grover, Grover solo heel jag. Little spread thin. I honestly have to give it to uh, Team White. I think the pip is gonna bring too much. Um. And the Makoa. Wow, you're going to go Vivian? Vivian against Makoa Barrack is a good trade-off. I hope she goes on limited bullets. I'm not sure if you'd want... I mean, Vivian just... I don't know. She's kind of hard to run against a Zen and a Pip. But... I get what they're going for with uh, just shredding up... Shredding up those lines. Hmm. Man, chat, I gotta be honest. I think Team White is actually, like, way better off. They have a point tank. They have the Pip. They have the Damba. They have the Zin. And, honestly, all that Blue's got going on for them right now is just... I mean, they have Cassie. They have Ash. But I don't think... I don't even think Grover and Ruckus together. Just I don't think it's going to be bringing enough to the table. Like, I really think the, the the Vivian and the Cassie working together is just no displacement. So you're not going to block a team from grouping up. The only splash damage that Team Blue has right now is some Blast Shot and some Ruckus Rockets. I, I, I think we're just going to have to give this straight to uh, Team White here to represent the best, best team here. Even Borker in his winter attire. Is in agreement. But again, you know, we can always see upsets happen here and there. I'm going to get some water real quick. We are thirsty. Thirsty. Non stop talking for like three or four hours this morning. You know how that is. You know how that is. Ugh. The names are even where they belong. 
So I'm not sure if this is the best of five game finally, or if there's another one after this. <sighs> I think we can predict that Team White here is definitely in the advantage position. But, you know, I never, I never want to count these guys out. You know, maybe there's something crazy going on. When we get to the two second mark and the mounts show up, we'll give the game a quick pause. Because there's always a chance here. Some kind of crazy little picorino lining up at the door. Mounts are popping. And we pause. Let it tick for a little bit. Let's take a look. No way. No way. Pluck? No way. You're going full pluck. Oh my goodness. There is one CC, one knockback. Big game, though. Maybe going that for... Oh, dude, I can't believe that. Callus, you know, that's nuts. We're going pluck. I mean, there's a small chance he waits and spawn for just a half second here. But... Opportunity and Chaos, Unlimited Ammo, Ramp of Blooming Standard, Fortress Breaker, Point Tank, Ash. Take a real quick look. A thousand health. No unlimited bullets except for 12% chance. So, that is a fat shield on Vivian. I'm just not sure if it's going to work out in the long run here. NA Pluck. Pluck mains. We're going to... We're going to follow old Ovum here, since he's so bold and full of himself. Best of luck to both teams. Let's start this rollout. Let the battle begin. And he committed. Wow. This man. <laughs> here we go. Already one hit, two hit, three hit. The biggest disadvantage, though, is that he just doesn't have nearly as much HP. But there comes the first pluck. Big damage coming through. Confirm this kill. That's a huge advantage. There we go. Oh, is already starting to pop off. We already have three deaths. Another huge hook coming through. Vivian's trying. She can't do nothing. But guess who just sat on that point and just kept capping? Who could that be other than Big Boy Barrett? Get wrecked. Straight on the wall. I think that's an adequate sentiment of what just happened. Misses the hook here. He's already low, though. You kind of just watch these things happen. Looking for the next hook. Are you going to get it over him? I feel like you've made a statement to where we should just follow you for a little bit. Hook's online. Who are you looking for? There's the pull. There's the shot. And that's a dead man. Vivian has no way of dealing with this. Ruckus. I mean, shit, you're just going to eat a hook. You're not getting away. You don't even need to spend a hook. You need to spend the hook here, pull him in, get the damage. And another big death. Makoa already has ult. Makoa has ult. Makoa has ult. They've been fighting for about 45 seconds total. Makoa has ult in about 50 seconds. Okay? I don't think you guys understand how fast of a Makoa ult that is. The fear is done. The CC's locked. Makoa can pop if he wants. Here comes a little bit of a reset. Chicken turns it around. Right after the Grover ult, the timing is done. We're done in under three minutes. So you tell you what, I've had a long moon in the day. I'd like to see this be done in the next three minutes real quick. Let's get this done. Y'all can order me a pizza. We can get this thing click, clack, easy peasy, tack, tack. Let's go. Man, we are on a roll today. Let's go. We're almost done. <laughs> Pretty nuts. I mean, what are you going to do against the flock? 3-0 in three minutes? Point spawning in no 15 way. seconds. No way. We're going to watch Ovum. This is the Ovum show. 20,000 damage on Makoa. Where's Cassie? Where's Vivian? Doesn't matter. He could have had two alts already. 20,000 damage on Makoa. Makoa farms against Ruckus. Makoa has a good time against Vivian. Makoa has a great time against Ash. Like, they didn't get anything going for him. It's the Ovum show. Hello, Ovum. What are you doing? Hook him? 
maybe. 30%. Straight cap. Hello. Hook. Hook is missed. Oh, no! Oh, man. Big guy coming through. Watching the damage. He gets low, but it doesn't matter. You hate to see an Ash get messed up like that. You're gonna touch. It wouldn't even matter. You're just gonna die. You flubbed the ult. In four and a half minutes, we're already at the 3 all point. Man, I'm getting hungry. I tell you what. Hook comes through. Hook gets the kill. 18% of them. Just popping fireworks. Terrible chicken. Awful. What are you doing? Adrian. 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 We're just gonna call you Adrian now. Adiam. You messed up. Double shield. They don't even care, dude. They stack shields. It's the Ovum show. What are you doing? Looking for a hook. That's a hook. That's a missed hook. Just kidding. Man. It's been 30 seconds of uncontested push. Huge stagger right here. I feel like Zin's kind of just like helping out. He's the helper. Barrack Dome's ready. A little bit slower on this offense, though. We went from a three-minute cap to, like, a little bit of a delay. Big Hook comes through. Enemy Not ground. getting it. That might be it. Oh, but we get the trade. So, we're in an okay position. Blue finally getting their footing. Oh, my goodness. He went for the deep hook. They need to just give up space. They're going to get Have staggered out here. Friends? They're actually going to lose a lot of time. So, white. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Because they've still got over 60 seconds, but they did just lose a lot of time on that stagger. You can see how one mistake can cost you all of your potential momentum. So now we just need to get the ruckus out. Anybody getting killed here? Ovum's going to look for something. The Ovum Show is back online, back on air, renewed for another season. Maybe maybe his, uh, his guest star Pip. Oof. That boldness. Not working at the moment. We're going to actually see a chicken, though. And this should give them the conversion. Already two. They're running out of time. With chicken up, this is over. There's no touch. There's no touch. Well, chicken, whoever comes in, this is over. Yeah. Fast caps, dude. Well, well, that was quick. Uh, <laughs> you see, if you give a team Makoa and you still, wow, that wasn't even a wait. They just went straight in. They don't even care. always like holding on to two of them no time to think no time to act wow that was pretty fast not gonna lie Bork Racer? I don't know if the chat wants Bork Racer on there. That's kind of more of a R stream type of thing. The Borkers have to be in uniform when they're on the clock. Borkers are always in uniform when we're working. We might need to go get Medic Bork, though, to, uh, to help out with uh, Blue's last game. Wow, they left Makoa again. Okay, well, you know... I mean, you also didn't go Grover. They banned Cassie. They get rid of Ruckus. I mean... Another free Makoa. There's a difference, though. Is like... I wouldn't say that it's super free. Barrack, though. The point tank right now goes into the favor of Team Blue. So... Last game, like, I, you know, honestly, looking at it, you're thinking, 
What the heck is Ash gonna do as a point tank? She's just not very efficient at it. Barrett clearly wins. With the new meta, like, Barrett just wins, period. Like, he's a better point tank by far. He's got self-sustain, bubble, and shields, and a lot of HP. So I just don't think you can really get away with doing the solo tank uh, or point tank Ash anymore. It means you have to be aggressive. You have to make the plays. Blue is comfortable on BK and Barrett. Here we go. Grover, I, I... Are you gonna get Pip? I feel like White could get a Pip and really lock it in. But again, they went Ash. So now it's point tank Ash again. I think you get a little... I don't know, man. We've seen it happen a lot the last few games and Ash with like without the other point tank has just not been working out. But you notice that they went Khan and Grover before even considering. Like the EU meta is definitely a lot is, is leaning to be much different from the NA. Like it's splitting further and further. Uh from, since the last world tournament, you know, you had the regions kind of integrating their compositions, but we can already see that divide starting to grow back out again. And I think it'll be interesting what happens when the EU teams finally get moved over to the PPL. Like, what is the other EU meta going to devolve into? Because there's so many good players in the EU region in general that um, you could easily see new compositions forming, maybe keeping their more draft-centric mentality, and it could really split out how people play. I'd be really interested to see how that ends up changing over the next couple months. Because the pro scene is all in North America now. Even though they're from different regions. A Maeve. Another Maeve. Wow. Victor. I don't know, man. Victor kind of wrecks Maeve. But I was already impressed once with a Maeve earlier. She didn't end up panning out. But. No pip. Maeve is big. There's no splash. So White's basically going to have to be playing this. I think they'll have to play outside of the keep position. You're going to see that once uh, once Blue gets to the high ground over the uh, over that left side or right, whatever side it is. Depends where you spawn. Like, uh, I could really see them coming out in control of it. But if you play it right, you don't need to worry about contesting up there. You've got range. They already won the range game. But... I don't know. I would say this draft is a little bit neutral. Um, BK and Victor are really good for a combination. But you just don't see Maeve very often. Maeve is small. You know, I'm pretty sure somebody said one trick uh, Maeve earlier today, and it didn't work out. We need to give the point to... Red team is white, so we'll give them one point. This will be interesting. It's crazy that we have a double Russian final here. The French baguettes didn't pull through this time. And I think that the rosters are a little different since we since we were last here a month ago. So it, uh, it really depends, honestly. Um... We're slowly getting into the position. We'll be pausing at the two-second mark and see if uh, Yorlak here thinks he's going to be as big as Ovum or if he's just going to go for that safe election of Leviathan for that 1,200 bonus HP. The tech is strong. It's not the patch yet. I, I think if I was Team White, they might have identified that they can fight inside of this church right here, library, whatever you want to call it. Pause at the one second mark. Boom. Take a look. Recount your builds. We have the standard. We have... Ooh, wow. Not burst fire, huh? Full grenade reset, too. That's rare. Uh, I say this because I'm a victor guy. Uh, usually you never put this at four. Or five. Because you don't need it. It's easy to hit a double. Especially with shrapnel. It's burst fire meta. So this man electing to go shrapple, we're going to have to watch him. Pretty standard, big AoE, freaking... Let's just point this out real quick. Ovum, where's the bombs? Didn't you just stick six bombs? I thought I heard him, but... 
Maybe I didn't. There they are. Right here. Big brain. Do this if you're a Bomb King main, brothers. This is from the coach interrupting the chat. This is always a really great play because he's got this extra heal ready. Six times 45. Whatever. A lot of health to help him out in a small fight. A little self-sustaining thing. Build that habit. And then we got over here. Streak death. Ooh, Executor. Okay. Rampant Blooming. All right. Let's get this thing going. Let's follow old Vicky. Dishin. Dissin. Let's go. And so it begins. Free grenade? Not going for it. Not going for the dismount at all. High ground is obviously in his favor. A little early on the grenade. Gets an absolute bagel. Hits the shield. Doesn't have any value. Maybe coming in on the backside though. Ash the first pick. That's a hard situation to be in. You can't contest up here. Ovum, what are you doing? Your composition is not built to hold key. We were just talking about it, okay? With double AoE, splash, and control, you're just not going to have that kind of advantage to just dick around against that much. Plus the Makoa overextension pull. Kaboom! 54% on the booklets. We'll see if they can get the retouch here, but with all this damage and CC control, I doubt it. BK's in position and Fellaby. Good little wiggle out. Grumpy bomb. A little early on the deployment. Oof. He just missed the execute pouch. Oh, man, Makoa trying to live. Nobody's died on Team Blue. And Infelibi gets the first retrade here. 93% on alt. Victor's already online. Dropping the hammer. <gasps> Grover. Last second. Oh, my goodness. It's anybody's trade. He's looking in. They have the touch. He didn't touch! He spun off the corner. Makoa, you hate to see it happen. You had everything going for you. Team Blue. Team Russia Blue. One mistake is all it took. And look at this. They're even getting the cleanup. Like, if that isn't a statement for, like, this draft being superior, I don't know what is. That is a really tall alt. <laughs> he gets clapped in the air. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The trumpets get blown. Stunned from outside. And Fellaby, you're a little deep. You're going to probably... No, we got pocketed in the last second. Which tier is this? I'd say it's about two. They're around PML. Um, the grenade already coming out. Pushing back the E on. Victor. Trying to siege out the position. Good Makoa shield covers out his friends. The only one lost on the back end here is the Barrack. Alright, Makoa. Big hook. You know he's right there. Hello. You saw the gun. He's right there. Big grab. No value. Boop forward. Infallible. Infallible brain. That poppy was absolutely huge. Even mid-stun, Khan is locked out. Oh my goodness, where are you? What's your number, BK? Take a look at this man. He is trying his absolute best. Big hook! Already pulled out of position. He has Poppy. He can do displacement. Curious if he wants to. Mave is in. She's too deep. She'll get killed. She does get the Makoa trade. But each one of these... As long as they keep getting some good staggers here. Blue is in the position to cap this out. There goes Grover. And Fellaby, dude, you are popping off. Oh my goodness. Oh man, what is that? The BM. The Russian BM to each other. Oof. Huge pick. Poor Leon is in the back there. One hit. Ash is not a point tank. She's not nearly as effective as she used to be. There goes another huge trade. Take a look at the damage. I mean, you can just see how this is really going in the favor of uh, Team Blue. Like, uh, a much different game and a much better draft for them. Converting here would be so hard. You'd have to spend all this. I don't, I don't think they're going to do it. White is just going to chill for a bit. Almost managed to get what they needed back. Take a look at the healing board. Look at this. Damba is... He's out working right now. He's out working. 
Grover trying to keep up. They need to identify White cannot contest that high ground. They can't. It's too much splash for them to deal with, and they don't have anything that blows them apart either. They have the May Vault, and that's their biggest strength when things are grouped up. Maybe they have a small little opening. We're gonna go ahead and watch the Victor again. Five. It's climbing you. No, four, we'll do it. We'll do a three, two. We'll do Connie. Ovum. The BM. -er. The split is the same. We'll see if that works out. Big grenade already comes through. Number one, huge fear. Here comes the first stage of the alts. The stuns are put through. Makoa ends up being the first death, but Grumpies end up getting massive value stun. And you can just see this huge play coming from Victor out of nowhere, dropping all the hammers, all he needs. Oh. Stayed a little too deep. Got his head thrown into the ceiling. We have Makoa ult. That's a dead man. You didn't get your Makoa off ult and you've lost so much cap time. Ash has her ult still. Really, I think that's going to be the big win right there. The, good, the zone was good. They still have an easy retouch. Oh, don't die. Live. If Bellaby lives, we're okay. Everything will be fine. Huge damage coming out. We need one of the tanks to get through. Barrack's going to make his way in. Just going to follow him through. Running around. Gets by the Leon. He takes position. There's the retouch. Makoa again. Misses the ult. The Ash ult comes in. Gets no stun. No value. Poppied out. But doesn't get the confirm on it. Now without that Makoa ult. I think that's game for point number two. Easily going in the favor. Big bombs dropping through. But not getting the confirm. You have to get it off. Your clack. It's your turn, dude. We need you to get that Makoa ult off. It's very important that you hit that. Can't be flubbing that play. Because that was the way to hold on to that. He made one mistake again. Didn't get the ult off. You hate to see that happen. He's hit a lot of good hooks. But he's got to slow that down. Press E when you're low. Or press it before you're even low. Unfortunate. Old man farmer here. Holding his lane. Holding his line. He has no self heal on his turrets. That's a new deck if I've ever seen one. I'm thinking it's a reset deck. I mean, this point is not moving. I feel like we've just had, like, no point movement for about 20 seconds. And... White is kind of screwing up. Like, a lot. It started moving a minute later. Yeah, we'll have to watch the bear deck in a moment. But... That was a lot of lost time. Ooh. The long arm. Ooh. Oh no, they don't have the damage to kill Enfelibi. It took so long they lost they lost the ash behind it. They have to give it all up. Oh no. Oh no. Damba. <gasps> Damba needs to live. Oh, he just barely squeaked away right there. I like this position. Coming through. God is the BK and Victor are just putting in so much work. And Maeve, I mean, it's Maeve. Oh my god, there, there goes the Grumpy. The Zoner Grumpy. Ooh, 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 ooh! <gasps> How did this happen? How did that happen? They lost all control! Oh no, you can't do it like that. That's gonna be a cap. That's a cap. I don't know what this deck is. Max shield, one level of red streak. I don't think that's the way you'd want to do it. That's unfortunate. I think you need self-sustain on your turrets. Point it's so much easier. 15 seconds. But, I mean, this Makoa still hasn't gotten his ult off. He hasn't ulted in 10 minutes. I don't mean to keep pointing things out. But uh, we got to get Big Man on the job. Yorlak, it's time, dude. Your DPSs are popping off, but we need we need you. They actually elected to do something completely different. 
Oh boy, that's a death, right? Big hook? No. He failed it. Are they giving them the cap? What are they waiting on? Oh, wow. The galactic size brain? Everybody's off mount. That's huge. Well, it was huge until... Hit the E! There we go. He got it. Finally. The Poppy! Oh my goodness! Infallible, infallible brain. While he's stunned, gets the poppy out and it detonates on the ground. The touch is there. They just have to get through the line. You got Barracol. You got all the big money on the table. All the big money on the table. Your big brain only works if it's galactic size. I can't believe it. This might be the recap right here. We have the call and all. He tries to get a full freaking yellow bee. Oh my goodness. The bubble comes up. The hook goes through. Oh man, the victor dying on the back line. But that fear! Another fear comes through. So clutch, but they're just... Oh man, all oh, the DPS dying on the back line. Grover goes down behind it. BK coming in! The king rolls out! He says hello! Huge damage. Infallible brain! Oh no, is it enough? He's the hero, Barrack, the farmer, the old man, building the line, the bombs dropping in, Victor, fireworks everywhere, oh my goodness, that's a cap, Russian Blue finally does it, they get the play they wanted to do, oh my. Wow. Old man coming through. Go. Like, I look, I'm gonna give it to Blue. They should be able to cap this. Like, everything on their composition, I think, is pretty superior. Rip them up, dissing, chop them up, give them a full dose. Full dose of bullets. Here, you like lead? Hope you're hungry for it. Um, nom, nom. All right. I mean, you can just see Maeve is struggling to get any work done. Big pick, big hook. Your lack waking up. Don't pop all. We don't need any of that stuff. Free cap, free cap and go through. That is two down for free. That's three down for free. God, I cannot believe how good Infelibi is. He just got four frags in a row. The stagger continues. Oh my goodness. There's no way. I think you have to give this one up. It's just gonna, it, it's so close to going in. The hook is big, the grumpy's already out. That's big control. That's gonna stun the mate. No, it doesn't. Oh my gosh. One miscalculation from BK. The stagger. The healing. God dang. Freaking White's veteranship. <laughs> you, you can't expect a team to be more confident than that. That kind of stagger is not easy to call out. Take a chill. Wait. Kill. But here we go. Attempt number two. Coming out. We have fear. You could get a third point if you really want it. Not a big deal. Big fear. That's the big man going down. But they force out the Grover ult. That's the play you're wanting. Makoa dies behind it, though. I, I'm not sure about that. I mean, getting the Grover ult out of the way is good, but the fear is a great uh, ash blocker. I'm not sure if that's the way you'd want it to go down. One bad grumpy didn't allow them to stun Maeve. If Maeve was stunned, that probably was a cap. One little mistake. Dude, Victor is popping off. Let's watch Leon. I did. Point spawning in 15 we haven't taken a look at him in a while. The hit scan poker for Team Blue here. Grover ult charges Five, super fast. Four, I mean, they're both at they're three, both at 48 percent, but or 40 percent. It's kind of crazy how much their time didn't sync with each other. Are we gonna do it again? We're not. We're meeting. So again, 
Big grenade. Misses it because of the instant shield. Oh, one mistake is all it took. Here comes the big one. Taking the space. He's all alone. All alone in that back line. The unfortunate thing of Infelibi feeling like he has to carry pops his freaking he pops his shit in the wrong spot and he dies. I think that could be it. One big pick. Whoa! Can't have that happen. Khan has all. That's a dead Makoa. He's shaking him around. He's throwing him all over. Barrack. Last one standing. He's trying to win. He got the Grover. The BK off gets the Khan. Oh, this could be the turn. Don't get hit by the pounce. Oh! He's touching the fear is good. It gives him an extra half second. Makoa gets back into the fight. He's trying to hit the shots. The BK stun is on point. Forces them back. You just kill the Ash and you got this. An amazing series of plays. The BK coming through. One big ult, one big stun. Grumpy spaces them out. Oh my goodness. The Barrack coming through. Now Q. Maeve has to do the touch. She gets the escape. She's getting stuck up. If he kills her, that's big. Leon's already won in the back, though. Makoa, it's just two tanks here. Tanks versus tanks. Healer gets picked behind. I think that might be all she wrote. You need some kind of great focus fire. Where is our D enforcement? Where are they? It's getting short OT. The only touch is a death. Oh my goodness.